Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. Let's create get employee by id REST API. Get employee by id REST API. Okay, just type a method public and this method returns the employee object to the client. So let's give a return type as employee. And let's give method name as get employee by id alright and uh, we are going to pass id as a method argument right long id let's annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation and let's configure the rest endpoint URL over here employees slash id okay so this is the path variable now we want to map or we want to store this id value into uh, you know the java variable so for that we are going to use at the rate path variable annotation to map this id with this variable so let's use at the rate path variable annotation Now let's retrieve a employee object from the database. For that, we are going to use the employee repository. Let's create an employee object here. And let's use the employee repository. And we will call uh, find by id, right? Find by id method. And just pass id, uh, ID to the find by method. So look at here, find by id returns optional as a, a return type so here what we'll do we'll use at the uh, add dot or else throw method so if record not exist in database then we are going to throw resource not found exception for that let's use or else throw method over here and basically we need to pass a lambda expression to this method because this method internally uses uh, functional interfaces okay and we use lambda expression to implement a functional interface let's use lambda expression syntax here and just pass object of the custom exception that is resource not found exception a resource not found exception and just pass the custom message over here employee not exist with id and just pass the id over here let me break this statement okay great so what we have done we have, we have called find by id method so this method basically returns optional uh, object as a return type and optional provides or else throw method so if record not exists in database then we just simply throw resource not found exception like this now let's return a employee object to the client so what we'll do we, have, we need to also return uh, HTTP status right for that we need to use a response entity class let's use return type as response entity and uh, this is the generic class so let's type let's pass employee as a generic type and here let's return response entity and we are going to return ok status that is 200 status so let's choose ok and just pass the employee object in a body that's it it's pretty simple right all right guys this is pretty simple uh, rest api that is uh, you know get employee by id rest api now let's go ahead and let's test this rest api for that what we will do i will start the application go to the spring boot application main class 
right click run as spring boot app now look at here spring boot application is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 080 now let's go back to the postman rest client and let us test this rest api open a new tab and just type localhost 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees and here we are going to retrieve a particular employee so let's go back to the database so i am going to get a employee ramesh with id 1 so let's pass id 1 as a path variable slash 1 and choose http get method over here and simply hit send button so this will retrieve a employee object with id 1 if you want to retrieve employee with id 2 just pass id 2 over here and just hit send button so this will retrieve a employee with id 2 all right guys we have successfully created get employee by id rest api and we have tested uh, using postman rest client thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next one